um, cathedral doing some exercises like this. So first things first, I make sure there's not just two feet, but even maybe three or four. Because when you fall over, the whole length of your body is going to fall over here. And if you hit your heel on concrete, it will oh, yeah. smack it. I've done that plenty of times. So let's help you start really back here. And the first thing I'm going to do is have Lori walk on up towards me. Go ahead and straddle my legs out this way. Just squeeze your shoulders in. Like that. I just want you to work with this. Really look, look, really look back behind you. Like that, right? Just work with this weight okay. and feel what that feels like here before you do anything. Like that. And then the next thing we'll do is um, have you from there put your hand on my knees and then put your foot, walk one foot on top of my knee again. There we go. Let's try to find this balance here. Uh -huh. Another one. Just stay there first. This puts more weight. Now you can do a few little presses like that. Can you start feeling what it's like to hold that perfect weight, right? And then slowly, 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 um, you can start bringing your leg over one at a time. And the same thing can stay behind if you want to have support spot. Because falling back here, you're just going to land back on my feet, right? There we go. Nice straddle. Right, there we go. Lock those arms out there, man. Good. And pipe even more. Try to pipe down towards you. Start falling on your feet this way. On purpose. All down. There it is. You see how much weight you're putting on? The more weight that you can put on your arm will help stand in your life to put her. So between the two of you, try to meet each other in the middle and create that line. Okay? So again, we're doing, let's have Sammy fly it so you can feel what you're doing. Can you walk over the legs? So you're going to look back. I just need to feel this first. Do this first. See how much weight your premium joints here. From there, you can put a foot on my knee. There we go. Now, once you do that, I feel even more weight. Just stay here for a second. Let's go back there. And if you can hold that frog position, <laughs> that, that'd be a, a way to be even before the feet go. Just hold that frog position there. Because what happens if you fall down? Right on your feet, right? Yep. Or on back on your step on my knees again. And then slowly use your floor to come up and straddle. Good, lock up. Coming down. It's going to be a lot of weight between things out of the way, but the safety wall is lower than yeah. going up the counter. Makes sense. And so, even before you do this as a flyer, if you're, like, say, in a class or a jam, and you're flying with people who haven't even flown. I haven't even been inverted before. You're asking for perfectly, you're asking someone to do something they can't do on the ground first. So you have to be really particular with who you fly with and who you ask to spot. Like, I find like at a, at a class, who's spotting in general? It's always new people. It's new people are spotting each other. And oftentimes that's a recipe for disaster if the teacher can be very specific and very stern with what they need to do to spot. Especially with new people they're spotting and they could be really shy about touch. Like, I want to spot, but I'm afraid by touching them, offend them. Like this, that's yeah. known as like a male. Like I think that's the thought that people do in my mind. So um, that thing is fine to double edge sword. I'd rather just learn it from the ground up. If you're a flyer and and if you're trying, you're going to try this. If someone try it on the ground first, can you hold that? Yeah. Can you hold a tripod headstand comfortably before you go up? And if someone can't do that on the ground, then I would say work that, do that before you go on, you know? I don't, personally, I don't think, if you're asking for a spotter, that probably means you haven't done the work enough to go up to the next point. That said, if you have a really good spotter who's based something or flown something balancing at times, then they'll know exactly what how to spot. You can trust them. Yeah. And if you're protecting this one very well, they probably don't know like, how often or what ways you to fall out. So it's good to, Ask them to do something on the ground first, or if you're flying to do that on the ground first. Let's do some of those tripod headstands on the ground before we do anything. Okay.